sometimes you're just going to be, what's the word? Basic. Sometimes you're just going to be basic and that's okay. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's Aisha. And if you're watching this, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Go away, Shay. Hey, it's my birthday. I'm 25, but not today. I'm 24 filming this. But when you watch this, I'll be 25. So obviously, 25 years old means I have so much wisdom. Kind of, not really. So that's why I'm here to share with you guys. Why am I so weird? I'll never know. If you're new, this is my channel. My name's Hillary Jane. I make Christian pop and hip hop music. I talk about Jesus. I talk about life. Um, <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already to the channel and <laughs> let's get into it. Okay, here's one that I learned, that I have learned by trial and error. When you are on a super high emotion, whether it be anger, whether it be sadness, whether it be lustfulness or frustration or fear or whatever like the crazy thing going on in your heart and head is, you feel like you are on 100 and you could never not be angry. You could never forgive this person. You could never not be heartbroken. You could never fill in the blank. And you're gonna do something crazy like send a super angry, nasty text, or you're gonna block somebody from your life like I don't need this person in my life anymore or whatever your emotion is about to make you do. Just take a breather. Don't do anything when you are on a super high emotion because I promise you in 20 minutes, an hour, two hours, when you like, calm down and in the boiling in your blood simmers down a little bit like yeah you'll still be hurt and frustrated but you'll be like oh man i'm glad i didn't send that text or you'll be kicking yourself in the butt for doing whatever it is that you shouldn't have done so never act when you are on 100 just just trust me just don't ruin your life always <laughs> okay i can't even say it. I, it's funny but i'm like dead serious always keep a pizza in your freezer you never know are you gonna be too tired to cook are you gonna be too broke to uber eats you never know keep a, a pizza in your freezer pop that bad boy in the oven at 400 for 18 minutes preferably DiGiorno and you're good to go okay third one if you are afraid to do something practice practice eliminates fear a lot of times like if you're gonna perform a song, which in my case, that's like normally what it is. Uh, if you're gonna perform for a big crowd, if you're going to teach a Bible study or like whatever it is that you are fearful of, practice, practice, practice. Because when you know the song so well, you know the dance moves so well, you know that scripture inside and out, it's so much easier to come with confidence and deliver something with confidence than when you're like, well, I kind of know, I kind of practice a little bit, but uh, I just feel like I'm gonna mess up. Well, don't feel like you're gonna mess up because practice until you know it backwards and forwards with your eyes closed. You know what I'm saying? So practice, practice, practice. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. Learn how to study the Bible. Not just reading the Bible. Like reading is great. Just picking it up and saying, I'm gonna read the book of James today. I'm gonna read Genesis 1 today. I'm gonna read Galatians 5 and 6 today. That's great. But learn how to study your Bible. Learn how to sit down with the text and say, okay, What's the context of this? What's going on? Who's speaking? Who are they speaking to? What does this mean to them in their time? Because scripture wasn't written for us in 2018, 25-year-old HJ, happy birthday to me, uh, in the United States. It just wasn't. So it's like, learn how to study it. What are the pronouns? Who is he? Who are they? What does it mean when he says this? What does this adjective mean? Like, that's important. And so just learn and it, it, it will enrich your your biblical knowledge and it will enrich your life so much because you'll be able to dive deeper know god more which in turn just makes you love him even more and then you'll be able to teach the bible because that's like a part of god's command right oh, i'm about to start preaching pretty much we're supposed to be teaching and encouraging and exhorting one another with god's word so know how to use it learn how to do it and your life will like excel but this is good this is good Admit that you don't know things. You don't have to be the person that's a know-it-all and has all the answers and all the formulas and all the, the the quick facts all the time. Like maybe you're a walking encyclopedia and that's like your thing, that's cool. But most of us aren't and you don't have to know all the answers all the time. It's okay to be like, oh, actually, I don't know. I never thought about that before. So just don't be so prideful that you have to always be like, oh yeah, I know, I uh, or mm, uh. like no, just, oh, I don't know. 
And you know how much more of a pleasant person you'll be just to say, oh, I don't know. It's lovely, you should try it. I could be preaching, y'all. Okay, what is something else that I've learned? Oh, mm -hmm, this is a good one. I'm just gonna read it to you. Do things you don't like doing to make people you care about happy. They wanna go see a movie so badly that you think is gonna be the worst movie of your life? Go with them anyways. They wanna go hiking but you hate sweating in the outdoors? Go with them anyways. Do things that are outside of your liking and outside of your comfort zone to make people you care about happy. Like, you don't always have to only do things when it's what you wanna do and when it's comfortable for you and when it's exciting for you. Like, do things to see your friends' faces light up and live life selflessly in the small things. Sometimes it's easy to do big things, right? Like, oh, you need to borrow 50 bucks? I got you, you're the homie. Do the small things. Sometimes it's, easy, it's harder to serve in the small things. Just do love people. Mm. Okay, unrealistic expectations will kill your joy so fast. Somehow you made up these expectations in your mind and so whenever he or she doesn't come through, they don't do it the way you want it or they don't give as much as you want it or whatever it is. You are hurt, you are frustrated, your day is ruined, it's just not what you wanted. Just don't have expectations that were never promised to you and life will be so much more enjoyable. One of the last ones is working hard sucks sometimes. You go to bed later, you wake up earlier, you're not, you're putting away things that you want to do. Like you want to watch this movie, you want to be on your phone, you want to whatever it is, but you're like, no, I'm going to practice. I'm going to get on YouTube and learn how to do this thing. I'm going to put in the time and put in the effort. That is literally the difference between somebody who's mediocre talent, just keeping it real, mediocre talent, excelling and achieving versus an extremely talented person who seemingly goes nowhere in their career or in their hobby or in their sport or whatever it may be. Hard work is so important and I'm actually still learning that. Like my whole, I'm not about to get into my life, but pretty much only the last few years of my life have I really just tried to be a hard worker. Um, so it is the difference in achieving, promise you that. I love you guys, my name's Hillary Jane. Please hit the like button. Tell me below if you found anything helpful, if you have an amazing piece of wisdom nugget that you've learned in your life. Tell me how old you are, wish me happy birthday, say something, I wanna talk to you guys. I love you and yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later.